I predicted a 1-1 and a 1-1 is what we got. And to be honest, considering Luton is our bogey team, I think I'll take it. Um, even though, you know, Luton have wrapped it up their season, really. Obviously, they've got third place now. Um, so, yeah, it's a little disappointing. Uh for that reason, really. I mean, I know Borough can still technically get it, but I think uh, it's I think it'd be a bit of a long shot. Um, and obviously we have everything to play for. On the other hands, if we'd uh, won today, it would have obviously been in our hands going into that final game. But I'm happy that it's going down to the final game, and we have something still to play for. Obviously. This team, no one give us a chance of doing anything this season, a transition season, and your expectations do change over the season, of course. Um, but the boys can only be proud of themselves, really, for what they've what they've achieved this season, really, and it'll be something to definitely build on for next year, unless by some miracle we manage to uh, make the playoffs and win it. Um, but I think it's going to be a long stretch for us to go to the den and beat them first of all, but also beat them and hope that Sunderland and uh, West Brom don't win either of their games. But stranger things have happened in football. Um, and if we were to get it, you know, a double header of Luton home and away wouldn't be um, wouldn't be the best of games for us to play anyway but just to make the playoffs would just be something after this team it's been you know a decade now since relegation from the prem and uh we're yet to make it so it'd just be one step in the right direction for us really and make us a more attractive club for players to come to next season to show that we can make the playoffs <clears throat> just like Luton did last year and now find themselves third in the league. And, you know, out of the four teams who will make the playoffs, they're going to be the favourites, ultimately. Um, but in terms of the game, was it was a decent game. It wasn't a classic by any means, but I think we dominated the first half, really. I think Luton were quite poor in that first half, but you could tell the second half they come out with more vigour, a bit, a bit more about their play. Um, I don't think Edwards must have been happy, obviously, and it showed. And they get the goal. You know, a goal out of nothing, really. They were they were knocking on the door, but it just comes out of nothing, a, a cross into the box, and it's a goal. Um, and yeah, just same old really from Rovers, not creating enough chances from open play, just simply because we didn't have a presence up front. And as soon as Lennon comes on, we have our we have a strike up from someone who knows what they're doing essentially in that position. He wins us a corner, and the corner um, sees Hayden Carter get his first goal and first goal for Rovers and a goal that could be so important for us. Um, and even even if if we don't get playoffs, just to go into that final game with a bit of hope, bit of positivity, it would be nice. Um, well, it will be nice rather. So we, at least we have something to hold our hat on to anyway. And yeah, let's just hope we do the business at Millwall. But for really deserve that goal for Carter. He's been immense since he come in the team. He's keeping Ayala out the team, keeping Wharton out the team, and rightfully so. And uh, you know, next season he should be starting um, alongside Hyam. And yeah, uh, what fair play to him and hopefully he can just build on this and go from strength to strength and it seems he is. Um, but yeah, not really much else to say on the game. Um, not a game full of highlights as you can probably see from the vlog, there wasn't really much. Um, but yeah, it will be interesting to see in the summer what we do with the likes of Ayala and whatnot now that Carter's broke through. Obviously, Phillips is going to want more game time and also was talking uh, to uh, friends and family today, what do we do with Kaminsky? Um, 
you know, ultimately he's not going to be one to sit, sit on the bench next season. And Pez is a younger goalkeeper who, if we were to sell, we wouldn't get anywhere near as much as we would for Kaminsky. So, to me, it might be time to move Kaminsky on. He has literally signed a deal this season, so his value will be pretty high. And it would be a shame to see him go, but he's too good to be sat on the bench. And ultimately, it would be harsh to drop Pez in the form of the form of his life at Rovers. Um, not really much you could do about the goal today. Um, there was a bit of a slip up where Luton he, uh, player headed the ball, hits the crossbar, and that was a mistake on Pez's part. And if that had gone in, I would be saying, look, that that's you know embarrassing Kaminsky needs to come back in but it didn't go in ultimately and it would be dropped to it would be harsh to drop pairs so it will be interesting to see what happens this summer let's just see whether we do actually squeeze by the finest of margins into the playoffs with our horrendous goal difference and uh yeah I mean we wouldn't get past Luton anyway but like I said just be nice to do it wouldn't it but yeah on to Millwall away at the den Everything to play for. Um, should be a really interesting game, and obviously we'll just be having to keep a lookout on the Sunderland and uh, West Brom scores, and just hope Preston and Swansea can do us a favour.